हे गाइस आई एम शांतनु उदासी बैक अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो कैप्चरिंग एवरीथिंग दैट इज बीन हैपनिंग इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस आई हैव गैदर्ड अ फ्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू दैट आर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड लेट्स जस्ट नॉट वेस्ट एनी मोर टाइम एंड जस्ट जंप राइट इनटू आवर स्टोरीज आवर फर्स्ट स्टोरी इज फेसबुक एम्स टू एडवांस मशीन लर्निंग विद टू न्यू वीडियो एआई प्रोजेक्ट्स सो बेसिकली फेसबुक इज एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद टू न्यू आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस प्रोजेक्ट्स फॉर द वीडियोस पोस्टेड ऑन देयर सोशल मीडिया सो दीस टू मॉडल्स आर called learning from videos and times former learning from videos is basically a machine learning model that is self learning by analyzing facebook videos that are already posted on the website this algorithm will be enhanced and it will help facebook to recommend better videos to its users this algorithm will also help facebook to find out videos that are graphic in content or are breaking the privacy policy of facebook so user posted videos on facebook are being used because it will allow them to learn from a far larger amount of information than is available in traditional handmade training data sets they have also laid an emphasis on privacy the researchers stress that the initiative will emphasize privacy they have also said that they are building and maintaining a strong privacy foundation that uses automated solutions to enforce privacy at scale so the second project timesformer is basically based on the rule of efficiency facebook has said that timesformer processes data using less than 10th of the computing resources required by the traditional models and can be trained 3 times as fast it will be efficient and it will release less carbon in the environment Moving on to our next story with a breakthrough in the medical industry faster drug discovery through machine learning so currently researchers are working on a machine learning model which will speed up the calculations of drug molecules binding affinity to proteins so if you don't know we have cells and inside those cells there are proteins and that is where diseases or cells of disease bacterial and viral disease are there in our proteins of the cells and the entire mathematical problem behind finding medicines and vaccines is that they need to find out the exact chemical formula that sticks to that protein and heals our body in the process So assessing that stickiness is a key hurdle in drug discovery process. So this deep bar technology will quickly calculate the binding between the drugs and the proteins in the cells. So it will reduce a lot of time and chemical calculations that goes on behind producing medicines. If you want to know the entire science behind this, please read this article in its entirety. Link will be in the description down below. But right now we are moving to our next article which is Google's deep learning finds a critical path in AI chips. So Google recently has unveiled Apollo the transferable architecture explosion which explores the architecture by machine learning be it any architecture including a software chip. So it is not a machine learning that could be used for some low level design decisions. It is a design exploration. For example, if it is working for a software chip, it will be analyzing the functional elements of the chips how they interact and how software programmers should gain access to those functional elements so it definitely accelerates the process of chip building and layout and its architecture and there are no ambiguities that if this will work or not or if this is harmful to humans and their jobs so this is a good news all around for artificial intelligence Moving on to our next story we have adopts super resolution artificial intelligence machine learning tool this algorithm will give you four times as clear picture as your source that means that if you have captured a picture in 10 megapixels you can in adobe suit sharpen that image to look like it was shot on a 40 megapixel camera so they have given this as an example here this is a clear and crisper image and they have said in a nutshell adobe is taking photo upscaling to a whole new level with an ai powered tool called super resolution the feature is currently available in camera raw 13.2 with lightroom and lightroom classic implementations coming sometimes down the road so it is not available for public use but look out for your lightroom updates and it will be included in that so you can enhance the resolution rather you can quadruple any photo resolution while not losing any sharpness in the image so this artificial intelligence is better at smoothing and filling out the jags in your images far better than the bicubic resampling that was being used and that is being used currently 
here is a side by side comparison of bicubic resampling and super resolution see how crisp and clean image super resolution can give you and it is also helpful in zooming the image and then enhancing the image so you will not lose any megapixels in the process so be on the lookout if you are avid users of adobe lightroom this update is coming your way very soon but right now we will move to our last story of the day which is China is poised to dominate the artificial intelligence market. We have time and again heard that China is on utter domination path when it comes to artificial intelligence and we have this article covering the major points why it is the case. So the first point that this article highlights that why is China poised to lead the AI global market is the access to a huge domestic market. So China has a population of 1.4 billion consumer and it has a huge population in it of itself for data analytics and artificial intelligence companies to thrive. So the second point being that Chinese leadership and government itself laying a huge importance on artificial intelligence and its development. The government and business sector in China understand that AI is revolutionizing virtually all aspects of consumers lives and they are embracing the new technology wholeheartedly and providing strong strategic guidance for innovative AI tech companies. And the third and the final point raised in this article is that China fiercely protects its domestic products from companies like Google, Facebook and Microsoft. In the process they are virtually eliminating any competition from West companies so that domestic tech companies can flourish in China and if you are avid users of TikTok Facebook is trying to replicate video algorithm that TikTok uses to suggest videos that are similar to what a person enjoys so the Chinese AI tech conglomerate has a better AI video analyzing tool than Facebook currently has in its Instagram reels feature this article also lists some key AI players in China Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, ByteDance which I already said that owns TikTok which is currently banned in India and we in some way or another use these apps in our daily life it is becoming very normal by the day and China is on the way to artificial intelligence supremacy so that's about it those were all the stories I highly recommend you go and read these articles in their entirety links for them will be in the description down below and while you are at it please click on that subscribe button and ring that bell notification so that you never miss any other update from analytics india magazine